Is it a water alien? Or could it be a real live fish? Well, this strange, awkward-looking creature is indeed a fish. It's called a sunfish, also known by their Latin name as Mola Mola. There are five species of sunfish, of which the Mola Mola is the most common. It's the largest bony fish in the world. So, to put it into perspective, it grows to 2,300 kilograms, which is about a third of the size of an African bull elephant. And often there are people who will comment on a really odd shape, you know, because it's an odd-looking fish. But they're very highly evolved and highly specialized to do what they do, uh, part of a pufferfish family, and they, we think they live a fairly solitary existence. But in South African waters, very little is known about the fish. We're not entirely sure where they go throughout the year, so in future we would like to do some more tagging studies on them with satellite tags as well. Despite their immense size and classified as predators, sunfish pose no risk to humans. A large part of their diet consists of jellyfish, but they will also eat squid and fish. And interestingly enough, um, they can dive down to over 600 meters. And it's one of the reasons they probably spend a lot of time on the surface. You know, people often ask us why they're called sunfish. It's not just because of the shape, they also have a habit of lying on their sides on the surface and they appear to be sunning themselves like a sunbather. There are a few theories for that. One is that um, with them being at the surface, making a bit of a commotion to attract seabirds that pick off parasites, but also they think that they really thermally regulate by heating themselves before they do deep dives again. Mola molas are classified on the IUCN's list as vulnerable. These ocean wanderers can travel long distances despite their seemingly slow movements. But it's out in the open seas where the threats lie for these mystical creatures. Probably the biggest threat at this point in time is overfishing um, and bycatch, specifically from commercial fishing, um, especially the longline industry. Uh, we think approximately 340,000 a year gets taken off the coast of South Africa. And to put it into perspective, it's almost a thousand fish a day. And we're not really sure what the survival rate are of those fish which caught as bycatch because they've got no commercial value. Holy moly, as this sunfish was quickly named by aquarium staff, weighs only 76 kilograms. But at a growth rate of 500 grams per day, it has grown significantly since the rescue. And it was time for her to be returned to the open ocean. The aquarium's dive team prepared to remove this gentle giant from the predator exhibit where it has coexisted among the sharks and giant cop. At the surface, the team was ready to strap the sunfish into a protective harness. It was quickly carried out of the aquarium, and from there, it was taken to the boat moored outside. The team had to move quickly to get the sunfish into the small holding tank on board. Simon Lee and Lee De Necker from the Two Oceans Aquarium climbed into the tank with the sunfish to keep her safe. Unlike most fish, sunfish can blink. They have strong muscles around their eyes that they can use to clean their eye or to pull it back into its socket when feeling threatened. A protector cloth was placed over her eyes to reduce stress during the journey. Last measurements were taken as well as a DNA sample which will be used to further international research collaboration on the lives and conservation of ocean sunfish. Finally the boat moved out of the harbour. It was only a short 20 minute ride to the release location near Robben Island. But on the open seas, the water was choppy. Care was taken to ensure that the sunfish stayed calm and did not bump the sides of the tank. Finally, at the release site, the water temperature in the holding tank was adjusted to be in line with that of the surrounding ocean. Plastics are a huge threat to marine life, um, especially sunfish, as they do like to eat jellyfish and plastic. Plastic products do look a lot like jellyfish, so yes, there will be many threats that you'll face out there, um, but we always be positive and just hope for the best. And then it was time for Holy Moly to return to the open ocean. On the count of three. One, two, three. Although this young sunfish will still face many threats out in the blue, it was time to continue the journey into the wild. Linky Beerman, Morning Live, Cape Town.